Godzilla for me is really summed up by the bloke in the suit. But uh, we've got this new film out. Uh, Phil, have you seen it? I have, yeah. It? I was in America recently. I did see the, the, the new Godzilla. Yeah. I was on a night out. And uh, it's, it's big on effects. Yeah. It uh, specialises in the Spielberg crash zoom. They've nicked the Spielberg, lots of Spielberg crash zooming. They've kind of over their crash zoom pudding. The monster itself, very computery. He's got a lot of that trickery in it. Uh, Paul, you, you believe you've seen it? The trouble well? with it is, A, you're right, it's not the bloke in the suits. No. And B, the plot is so full of holes it could be a colander. And you don't normally expect like logic in it. But this is just like, in, in the beginning, they're firing pea shooters at the Godzilla. And in the end, they just blame up with a few jet fighters. Well, you'd think, well, send the jet fighters in at the beginning. First. And I wouldn't have wasted two hours of my life watching this old tosh. No. The other big difference between this new Godzilla is, right, in the old ones, he was terrifying and spooky, but he was humanity's friend. Because yeah. he beat up Mothra and Lobster Boy and all exactly. the rest of them. In the new one, it's just Godzilla killing human beings. Killing humans. It's like, no. you know, so, uh, so, thumbs down thumbs for Thumbs down, really. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you know, he did fight a lot of uh, weird and wonderful creatures. I mean, one of my favourites is uh, Godzilla versus Mothra. Ah, Mothra. See, now, which I think is a, is a triumph of linguistic terror. Because Moth, is, that's not very scary, is it? <laughs> but... Mothra! <laughs> oh, no, no, that's go. it, you've got me. Yeah. You've seen that, haven't you? Well, it's Mothra, isn't that Japanese for Bleed Earth the Moth? <laughs> that's right, yeah. I believe he spends most of the film running around Tokyo putting the candles out. Yeah, exactly. And then Mothra attacks him, he's just standing there doing that. Oh, get off. Chris, you saw the, have you seen the old Godzilla films, yeah? Yeah, I saw the old ones. What was your favourite of all the, the old uh, rubber suited fights? I like the one where Ian, one of the Spice Girls, are having a bit of a jousting match. Yeah? Yeah. That was my favourite one. Godzilla versus, what, Poshra? So what, that was it. <laughs> in her stilettos and her high heels, you'd think she wouldn't have a chance, but she, she held her own for yeah. a good five well, she, minutes. He ripped both her arms off, of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, 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 she kept going. You know, she's, she's a... Got like the high heels and taunted her with them like that. <laughs> <laughs> Clicked them together, and a witch appeared. Oh, Toto, Toto, it's a twister. <laughs> Can't wait for Godzilla versus Tigra, the Vauxhall monster. <laughs> Next up, Monster War 2. Godzilla vs. King Kong. Let's check out the facts. Kong comes from the island of Pharaoh and is smaller and heavier than Godzilla. But this super-sized simian is not only trained in the art of judo and rock throwing, but also has superb agility and a cunning gorilla brain. This deadly cocktail of skills has resulted in him achieving an impressive four wins out of five. Compared to Kong, the king of monsters is lean, mean, and bright green. His fight record is the best in the monster kingdom. After victory against Ibira, his confidence is high, and the question is, can he be stopped? Only time will tell. Well, that's the form. It's going to be a ding-dong. Let's check out the odds with Barry the Bookie. Thank you, Phil. Now have we got a fight coming up for you here. This is the Clash of the Titans, Godzilla versus King Kong. This is the greatest fight since time began. Imagine in human terms, this would be Muhammad Ali versus Rocky Marciano. We've got the brain and the cunning of this big King Kong with his big arms and monster chest and the brawn of Godzilla. You've just seen Godzilla win the last fight. Can he win this fight? It's brain against brawn, but we're going to maintain Godzilla as the two to one favourite. And King Kong, can he be king at three to one? Thanks, Barry. Okay, so that's the form. Chris, who do you fancy? I'm going to go for King Kong. Yeah? Straight in, no missing. Godzilla obviously going to be a bit knackered after the last fight. Right. You know, obviously might have gone down the booze to celebrate. Uh, so I'm going to go for the big boy for King Kong. Okay, all right. He's got the death ray, remember? He has, but King Kong's a nice fiery, tall mother of a beast, and I just feel as though... though he's more agile. Yeah, yeah, you know, and he's hairier. He's got the monkey skills. Uh, Paul, what's your money on? I think the odds are about right. I'm going to go for Godzilla this time, right? because I think with that hair, Godzilla with his big old claws can get a nice bit of purchase, topple right. him over, death throw him, thrash him with a tail. I think it's going to be close. I think King Kong's going down. He's going to edge it? Yeah. All oh, right, Phil. He's our primate dancer, dancer for monkeys. King Kong all the way, it has to be. Dancer for monkeys? Yes. He's a Godzilla, no chance with his scary death ray and his, his, his big scaly quiff. But he's lighter on his feet, though. Yeah, but yeah, he's yeah, a bit he's more lighter around mobile. his mouth, mate. That's the, where the lighter comes Phil, from. He can catch, he can move, he can yeah. rocks back, he can rip arms off. He can climb trees and eat bananas. Oh, yes. that's my case. Don't make it two losers in a row, Phil. <laughs> OK, let's have your money. Place your bets. Come right, on, put your money down. 15,000 on Godzilla. 
15,000 on King Kong. The boys are going mad. You boys are foolish. 50 each way, I'm not hanging about. 50 each way on the big monkey boy. Let's see what's going to happen tonight as we hand over to our fight commentator, Jonathan Pierce. Thanks very much, Bill. Feverish dealings down here on the betting floor. As the crowd again hushes for the master of ceremonies. Scary enough himself. And first to show is the king of the primates, King Kong. And there's Godzilla. It's brain against brawn. And Kong rushes in. What brain? That's suicidal against that bad breath. And king Kong has felt it immediately. Can't believe it. Grim grin from Godzilla and Kong rushes in and there's the headbutt and that sent Godzilla tumbling it's a rumble tumble affair here on these bare mountain tops Godzilla is sent crashing against the rocks and will those tail fins weigh him down badly now or can the scaly reptile pick himself up with that great brawn in comes an overarm hurl from King Kong some strange warlike jig of delight but Godzilla's up again what's this monkey business King Kong almost suicidal crunch he's whacked his head Kong has almost knocked himself out and he's groggy and Godzilla now can close and there comes the tail flail on the chest of Kong but he's up once again this time for the head but Kong wheels back Kong beats the chest but it's all bravado there goes the Kung Fu kick Kong Kong but he's up once again, in with the headbutt, forcing Godzilla back onto some strangely positioned Japanese building. Don't kick sand in my face. I'm up again, says Godzilla. And there's the halitosis breath, and there's a fur fireball. And still Kong comes forward. Smash once, smash twice. How on earth are they going to get buildings insurance on that one? Kong and Godzilla meet and marry together right on the edge here. This fight is balanced on a cliff edge, and they tumble down into the waters, plummeting down into the depths below them. That will create tidal waves worldwide. We cannot see who's winning this. Is it a front crawl ball? Let's go to the flying eye. Big fight fans to find out. The winner. Kong is swimming safely out to sea. No Godzilla. Well, there you have it. Kong is the winner. No sign of Godzilla. Kong the champion. Back to you, Bill. No. Bill, the fix was in there, mate. Godzilla drags King Kong into his own territory, yes. and then Godzilla loses. That's a disgrace. He was beaten fair and square. It's a, end of story. So that pagoda went. Uh, what must the home insurance premiums be like? <laughs> On a pagoda. On a pagoda when Godzilla and King Kong are in Yeah, because you got all your, your gutter and your fashion. You've got you? your third party, fire theft, big yeah. monsters. Big I don't monster. Know. Chris, how did you do on that? You lost out. Oh, no, you won. No, I won a lot of you money. You won a lot of money. I'm very, very happy. I told you that my boy, Ding Dong King Kong, he done well. He did very, very well. It wasn't look that convincing, I must admit. He, he looked... nutted himself on a boulder. <laughs> Godzilla gave yeah. him time to recover. Oh, he was obviously, he's obviously been drinking down the old con bar. And it, it smacked him across the uh, the midriff with his big tail a couple of times. That restarted yeah, he his that, heart. He pulled yeah. that, smack. Yeah. He pulled that. The Godzilla he I know and love would have had him down and kept him out. He won. End of story. I win the money. He seems this fur. That was a nasty moment. <laughs> he was smouldering away there, Kong, for a minute. I thought he'd go from the fumes of his own pelt, but no. The fumes of his own pelt. A phrase you will not hear on Question Time. Anyway, plenty more to come here on Monster Night.